Hi everyone, welcome to Melissa's Home Cooking. Today I'm going to show you how to make the best ever Christmas cake. They're super easy to make, moist and delicious. We're going to make two 18cm cakes using this recipe or you can use it also to make one big 25cm cake. So we have here in front of us 3 cups of opal first flour, 1 teaspoon of cinnamon, 1 teaspoon of ginger, 1 teaspoon of mixed spice, quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, 225 gram of butter, 1 cup of sugar, half teaspoon of vanilla essence, 6 eggs, sultanas 100 gram, and 1 tin of uh, drained crushed pineapple, 100 gram of currants, 500 gram of mixed fruit. And then for decorating on top, we have the almonds as needed and glazed cherries and spring clean we're going to use the brandy I've put it into a palm bottle so that we can sprinkle it when the cake comes out of the oven and of course the two light things so let's get started so firstly we make sure you line your things and preheat the oven to 150 degrees Celsius fan bake so next in the bowl we're going to add in all the dry ingredients so this is the flour and all the dry spices the ginger, cinnamon, mixed spice and the nutmeg. We're just going to put it all in and we're just going to whisk it all together. We don't have to sieve the dry ingredient, just mix it all in and give it a little whisk. And then we're just going to leave it aside. Next, we're going to cream the butter and the sugar and the vanilla essence until it's light and fluffy. in the vanilla essence so next we are just going to add in the eggs one at a time and then we're going to add in a spoonful of flour Next, we are going to add in all the dry fruit. Now, we're going to add in the drained pineapple. So now the Make sure it's all ready, we can divide them up. So we can actually use a scale to divide them evenly so that you have a um, same weight cage. So now we are going to transfer the batter into the two 18cm cake tin. We are going to weigh them so that we have them equally. I think it's about 1.6 kilo. So we're just going to put it in. So now using a spoon, we're just going to level up the thing. Just push it down and make sure it's all level on the top, the batter. So now we're just going to level the thing. So now we're going to decorate the um, cake with the cherries and the almonds so firstly we're going to put the almonds on top you can also of course uh, leave the fruit cake plain and then ice it but today we're just going to decorate it
There it is. Okay, so, okay, all ready to be put in the oven. Don't forget to preheat the oven to 150 degrees Fahrenheit. We're going to leave it for about an hour and a half. At 150, then we're going to reduce the heat to 130 for another 45 minutes to an hour. And then once it's baked, we put the skewer inside the cake. It should come out clean in the middle of the cake. Then the cake is fully baked. Now I'm just going to check that the cake is cooked. Check it out. How lovely the cake is. Just insert a screw in the middle of the cake. Come out clean. And clean. So that means the cake is ready. So we're just going to pump the brandy. And we're going to spray the brandy on the top of the cake. One at a time. I'm just going to switch off a bit. I'm just going to spray plenty on top. it to cool down in a tin for about five minutes before we move them to the cooling rack. So now the cake is after five minutes in the tin we can uh, take out of the tin and transfer it to the cooling rack. Nice beautiful cake. And do the other one as well. Lovely cake. All well done. So we're just going to let it cool before we wrap it up in baking paper and then tin foil, and that will keep in the pantry for up to four weeks or up to two months in the fridge or up to even six months in the freezer. So um, here's our two 18 centimeter Christmas cake that we can use. One you can take away for your Christmas party at a friend's place and one for at home. So I'll just show you two different ways. This one's a bit tall, but two, two different ways. You can just get a, a wrap, put that, put in. Very easy decoration. And just put that on top, this on top, and just put, there you go. That's your Christmas. So the next one, we can just put the Merry Christmas and we can just put the cherry on top very nice and simple way to decorate your cake so I hope you enjoyed today's baking don't forget to like subscribe and I look forward to see you again next time and have a wonderful Christmas